Hi there. So today I want to do a so along vlog. The last time I did a so along vlog, a lot of people I can't get the end of the feedbacks, the positive feedbacks on that vlog. In fact, somebody even dashed me money after she watched that vlog because she said she was able to gather courage from that vlog to make or attempt to make her first wedding dress which went on to the second and then the third you know she was really grateful when i put up that vlog i had no idea that it would make such an impact it was just a so long ago it was not a tutorial there yet a lot of people you know we're very happy about it and the feedbacks keep rolling in they find me on instagram they ask me for classes they keep you know they want to continue to connect with me as a result of that vlog and for that reason i'm encouraged today after six i'll be seven months or eight months of you know making a so along vlog to make another vlog okay so join me while i sew this outfit right here on the screen so I want to go to the market now to pick up the fabrics. Come with me. Oh yes, about my hair. I'm really not in the mood to style this hair today. So everybody please permit me to look very natural and very African girlish today. On my way out, I noticed a little salon not too far from my house. Who knows how to wash my hair very well? These people will scrub my hair and I will feel the cleanliness of my scalp like Jesus made me. So I decided to braid my hair. Then off I went to the market. Look at the beautiful clean view of Calabar, Cross River State. Oh my God, you're welcome to my state anytime. It's the people's paradise, okay? <laughs> Good morning. So guys, you won't believe it that I got to the market and I totally forgot that I was vlogging. Hey, I'm so sorry guys. As soon as I got to the market, you know, I took those few clips just when I you know, started my journey to the market. As soon as I got to the market, you know, the designer, swift acting, fast moving part of me just kicked in. And that's how I forgot I was vlogging. My assistant has been ill, so she hasn't been coming to work. So I guess that's why I forgot because that's not my job. It's her job to hold the camera. So I'm sorry guys. So yes, I bought the fabrics and now I'm going to be showing you what I got. This is the fabric I got. It's a nice magenta fabric, right? It has a bit of stretch in it. Well, since the bodies of this dress um, has structure, I'm going to use a satin to kill the stretch. I'll use a satin to baste. Then the dress will have a tail part and I'm going to be using this organza. Guys, have you noticed organza is in trend? Ready to wear people. Organza is in trend. We'll go and buy organza and make lovely designs. Thank God it's not even too expensive. So yeah, I'm using organza for the bottom part of this dress. Let me show you the design. So this belongs to the same person. I'm already done sewing this. Maybe I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what I'm making next now. All right. So initially, I planned to have boning channels, visible boning channels on the right side of the garment. But because of the kind of fabric I bought, you can see it has some shine, some patterns and texture. So I've, I've changed my mind, okay? I'm going to be doing the boning channels on the wrong side, in the lining. So we'll not have visible boning channels. Then this is the neckline I'm going to be making. Yeah. So it's a short dress. It ends somewhere around the tie mid tie and then from there breaks out the sheer magenta which i said i'm using organza to make okay so on this organza i think i'll throw on some bit of stone so it can shine and sparkle so this dress is for a 40th birthday shoot 40th birthday shoots yep i've started my pattern drafting um i find that it's a bit economical to buy gum stay the medium gum stay and use for my pattern drafting than to buy paper it's cheaper this is actually the shape i want later eh? okay. but for now we'll sew when we finish joining the style line before i'll now create that shape because i don't want to do it then when we join the style line it starts giving us issues sure you understand yes, so when you finish i'll create I'll create that style line, the neckline rather. 
one strap is the back. for the bottom part of the dress because the dress is going to hold her and his mini and she's quite hippie her hip is as big as 48 or 49 so i don't mind this for the lower part but for the bodies i'm going to have to build structure and kill this stretch so i'm going to be using this satin underneath it for the bodies that would help kill the stretch and provide structure for me so that our corset can corset very well right so right now i'm going to be cutting you guys also have blisters on your knuckle from working with scissors if you have what do you do to solve it somebody said i should wrap you know paper tape or something on my scissors or around my knuckles when i'm working but i find that it's very uncomfortable to work with it like that or the other person said wear gloves the my coconut hair or not here however is there any other solution to this how do you solve this issue uh, All oh my guys, them, they know tea. Yeah. I'm not joking. All oh my guys, them, them know me. Since oh, six, I've been writing my story. Yeah, I know be OG, but if you ask them, them know me. I know they blow trees. Okay, so I'm done cutting. This is the skirt. Look at the front part of the skirt. Then I'm going to that's my waistline there you can see the beautiful curve and this is the back part of the skirt so i have the center back there with that notch now if you notice my the hem of my back skirt this is the hem it's slightly longer towards center back and it gets shorter towards the side seam that's because i'm trying to give enough room for her box so that we are not seeing her butt cheek <laughs> You know, so I make the back slightly longer at the center back. Only. All right, so you can see that we have treated the main fabric and the satin as one. Don't worry about the color of the satin, it won't show. We are using it to kill the stretch on this fabric because we are making a corset dress so we want the bodies to have a bit of structure so yeah this is how i kill stretch so just like this we'll treat it as one so we'll go and join the star lines now and then i'll show you what we have <laughs> So this is our lining, so we have the first um, bone there, but we are not done, we are going to attach more bones, more bones, this is the right side of the lining, look how it looks as if it is the main fabric, but it's not, this is the back, so I just noticed an error my tailor has made here with the, with the loops, she's supposed to make the spacing in between the loops to, um, to match right it have to be consistent and then the loops them must match so she's going to loosen it and correct it and she's also going to fix the modesty panel to one side of it right so besides vlogging i'm doing a number of things at the same time pardon me guys so she's doing the joining and i'm doing the quality check I'll be right. 
to zip down. Open it. Okay, so now I'm about to make the tail part of the dress. So I'm going to make the length at 8 inches long. If the organza would permit, I think I'm going to do a handkerchief cut. If not, I'll just make it a basic flay. Okay, so this is when my client came in for her fitting and here if you look closely you can see the stone sparkling so she asked that we take off the stones and i think she was satisfied with her dress at this point this was her first fitting but i had to snatch the hip a bit more to make it more fitted to her body and tada this is the final result <laughs> thank you so much guys for sewing along with me hope you enjoyed this vlog don't forget to leave comments or ask questions where possible or wherever you want to i'll be delighted to answer thank you and thank you and thank you bye so before i leave guys i never leave you hanging i'm going to be leaving the link to the other video i talked about that a lot of people found helpful how i made this wedding reception dress